Hi guys, it's uh, Mark Strutt here from uh, Threshold Media. Welcome to uh, what is a rare event, a tutorial from me using C4D. Um, today I want to show you uh, a rendering tip called Cell Render on C4D. Um, and I'm going to show you based on this current project which I've got here, which is uh, or my take on Darth Vader's TIE Fighter from the Star Wars movies. Um, so this is the image of the current render I have using global illumination and uh, other bits and pieces, sky object, so on and so forth. Um, but what I wanted to produce was a wire type frame render which um, is good for showing clients uh, the structure of your models. Uh, and also look good anyway for a different style of rendering. Um, let me just show you the what I'm talking about. Now this is the cell render of this image here. And as you can see, it doesn't use any lighting, uh, there's no shadows or anything, it is simply the wire mesh of the model uh, from this scene. Um, now, you can animate uh, using cell render, it's, it's no different to using global illumination or anything else. Um, so you can make some pretty funky looking scenes uh, animating objects with just a cell render. So that might be worth, uh, worth a go if that's something you're, you're, you're interested in. Um, let me just show you uh, another one that I've got here. So this is the back shot um, of my TIE Fighter again using the cell render and you, you can see all the different uh, polygon definitions and everything else and it's really good for showing the different how it how the uh, model is structured. So here for example at the top of the model you can see the base of the main craft or the hull is a normal sphere and then I've used a, a different sphere, hemisphere, spun it around so I can create these um, different bits and pieces on the top of the craft. You can see it better in this shot. So let's get go into C4D and I'll show you exactly how you can produce this. So here I am with my model, uh, with my scene all set up for the for construction and, and other bits and pieces. Um, basically you, you need to go into render settings now here I have all the different uh, effects that I'm using in my current render which is this one, um, the global illumination and everything else. Now this alone on my machine took nearly, in fact over an hour to render um, using these settings. Now the beauty of, um, of the cell render is that dependent on the complexity of your model uh, it, this renders relatively quickly um, so let me show you what you need to do. Um, now this is also dependent on what version of C4D you have. I have uh, 11.5 um, so I'll show you how to get to it through here. Um, what you need to do is deselect all of your current effects that you have in your list. Now if you go to the effects button here and you'll see the usual list of effects appear the one we want is cell render so select that now to get the effect I had on this image you need to make sure you have outline and edges selected now you can um, make them different colors but I prefer just straight black and white I think it's more effective and uh, I think it looks good so that's all you need to do uh, other than your usual selecting uh, what size image you want and your output paths. Simply go back to your, to your perspective view, select your camera shot and then hit render. Now this may take a little while to render because my model is quite complex. Um, let's see how, how big it is. Uh, another useful tip, especially if you're selling um, or selling models or want to tell a client how many uh, polygons are in your model. 
if you right click on your model group see I've grouped all my um, all my objects together there's one ob object or another object to keep it tidy so if you right click on that go to object information you get you get this here and um, so total number of polygons in this model is 15,167 uh, and a group of 101 objects so it's not massive but it might take a little time to render anyway I digress so you have your scene hit the render button and as you can see it starts to draw the render shouldn't take too long it's kind of like a, um, a baked texture which you can have um, which again you can create to do that you create just a simple white material um, and apply that to your model and you'll just get a baked white image I prefer this because uh, you get all the definitions of the uh, of the model itself and I think it's really effective um, another project I'm going to start or do in the future once I've finished this one is perhaps try some animation using the cell render and uh, see what it comes out like I think it's it's a good retro look and something a bit different to all these photorealistic images uh, which people are producing these days which are good in themselves but I don't it doesn't hurt to have something a bit different I believe so you get the idea it's chomping along my machines a, um, a quad core uh, hence the four boxes in case you ever wondered each box represents a core of your machine uh, if you've only got a single core or du duo core you'll get one or two boxes uh, and the render would take longer uh, you can see why now the uh, this render here took nearly an hour <laughs> it's quite complex and there you go there is your cell render I think it's really effective and uh, I wanted to share that with you. Uh, I think it's uh, useful, as I say, for showing your clients how your models are constructed. And not only that, it's useful for you to see any triangulations that you have in your model and any bits and pieces that you might want to fix uh, before your final full uh, global illumination render, which can take an awful lot of time. So there you have it, a very quick tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Uh, I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody uh, for the supporting Threshold Media and the site, especially the likes of Nick Campbell and Rob Redman, who kindly donated their tutorials to the site. Uh, it's proving really popular and uh, it's going really well. Thanks again for watching the tutorial. I hope you found it of use and uh, hopefully I won't leave it quite so long before I produce another one in the future. See you soon. Bye.